J Drone here. What's going on, guys? This is from my iPhone, and we are using the Spark. We are going to go ahead and do a do a run out. See uh, how far comfortably we can take this, and uh, just just see what's going on here. I have obstacle avoidance turned off. I had it turned on with my two prior flights, which will load some footage from them, uh, not from the app, but we'll actually load footage to SD card. Because uh, if you can see. <laughs> I forgot my SD card on this third flight. I went home, watched footage, went back out, and no SD card. But that's cool. You get to see the telemetry and whatnot. This is what the app looks like. And again, I get pretty pretty darn clear transmission from uh, from the cell phone in the app. When I was using Android, I wasn't getting that great of a transmission. Although if you have an OTG cable, you can probably get a you could probably get a better transmission and same thing even with this I could probably get super crystal clear if I had an OTG cable with uh, my cell phone to the controller but this works well for me the, the iPhone really works well with the spark um, I actually had to get an iPhone to upgrade the spark to make it to work properly and so we're just we're just using it here so right now we're at 320 meters uh, just shy of uh, a quarter mile a quarter miles 400 meters and we're going to continue to go. If you look up top, uh, next to satellites, we have 16 satellites. We also uh, are operating off 5.8 gigahertz. That's the signal I'm running. And we have uh, all our bars minus one yet. And we're past that, uh, past that quarter mile mark. So we're just going to keep going here. I know this area very well too. Uh, if you guys are going to do a run, know your area pretty good. You don't want to be you don't want to be going off into an area you really don't know, and then get lost and not be able to find your way back. Although this says return to home, so uh, on low battery it will return to home. Uh, so you really don't have to worry about that. There's a nice crater in the earth. Uh, hashtag coal mining area. <laughs> uh, right now we are pushing 600 mark. Uh, we are 200 meters shy of a half a mile. And as you can see, height H. We are only 25 meters high, really not that high. Uh, there was no reason for me to go sky high here. And uh, we we're just doing basically a lateral run out. Right now, uh, we are down to two, two bars on my signal meter here. And uh, we're just going to keep pushing it. We're going to push it a little bit. I want to hit that half mile mark. Uh, so that's, that's what we're going to go for. 50 more meters. We're at a half mile. Half mile is 800 meters. And we're getting close to it, guys. Bam! We just hit it and we're surpassing it. We've surpassed it by uh, 21... About 21, 21 meters we've surpassed it. Uh, so uh, 22 meters... We've gone over, we've gone a half mile and then some on stock set up with the controller. And as you can see, uh, we're still, even at the even at this range right now, we've gained that third bar. So if I would have let it sit there, could we definitely go more? Absolutely. We probably would have been able to hit like maybe a thousand meters. But again, I'm playing it safe. Uh, I, I paid for this drone. I didn't get for review. I did get a little bit of discount off of uh, my guy from RC Moment. He like took $100 or so off of it. So uh, flying this far away from myself with uh, essentially what this drone cost me, it gets your heart racing. It gets your adrenaline pumping. And again, I know the area very well. So if this were to come down, I'd be able to locate it fairly easily. Like if a bird hit it or for some reason the GPS conked out and RTH didn't kick in. And right now we actually have 17 satellites. And this is ideally where you want to fly. You generally want to fly in a wide open area and then you really have no worries of what's going on. And uh, you, don't, you don't have the question factor of, well, are there other drones in the area? Dude, I've only ever seen one drone in this area once. Um, as far as aircraft, aircraft should not be flying at 24 meters. <laughs> um, and again, I know this area well. There's generally not aircraft in this area. So I'm pretty safe here. So if you take a look down below, we're uh, we're hitting about uh, on our speed 20, 20.5. 20 we're back at 19. So 20 is about 12 and a half miles per hour. If you want to translate that, um, I like I like my instruments the way the way they are. Um, I, I ran track 
in high school and we did everything in meters so I'm very accustomed that 400 meters is a quarter mile 800 is a half mile 1600 is a mile 32 is two miles that's all in my memory bank just from running track but if you do uh, if you do want to change that you could definitely change it you could change the meters to feet and I'm pretty sure you could change the km dash h to MP mph uh, which you might be more accustomed to that way you don't have to figure out stuff like that but again I'm accustomed to the setup down below. I like the setup down below, and that's actually a worldwide system. The, the world uses that setup. The United States, uh, we, we generally go over to feet and MPH. So uh, I, I like to keep this there because I know, uh, I know my viewing audience isn't just the United States. So uh, for the people in the, in the United States, that's why I'm doing the breakdown on uh, meters and uh, miles. And for the people worldwide, you should be accustomed to the telemetry down below. Now we're getting close to this uh, small town here that I live in. I generally don't fly over buildings. Dude, we just went out a half a mile. Okay, we went out a half a mile. We're at 231 meters, which is just under a half of a half, uh, just under a half of a quarter mile. So you're, so you're looking at basically 200 meters is halfway around a football field. So we're not far from myself. So I figure, why not? This thing seems to be holding signal well. We're going to fly over this uh, corner part of the town here, and we're going to test this spark. This is the first time I'm actually really testing the spark, guys. Um, I really haven't had, uh, ha had the kahunas to actually do this before, just because, again, as I'm telling you, I paid for this. <laughs> um, heaven forbid a goose or something flies into it and it comes crashing down. I'm out money, um, and I, I don't I don't like I don't like that unknown variable. But this is what the drones meant to do. The drones meant to kind of seek and explore. It, it's rated for decent range. And as you can see, we're just about at 200 meter mark. I'm actually off to the left of where we're looking here, and uh, we're at 200 meter mark, which is half of a quarter of a mile. Uh, again, halfway around a football field. Full way around a football field on a track is a quarter mile, which again is 400 meters. Um, and then we're flying into this town, the town that's right next to the town that I live in. Uh, and again, generally, I would not do this, but that that half mile run out, no glitching, has me uh, has my confidence built up pretty good with the spark. So uh, that's and again, we're locked on to 17 satellites. I still have 35 percent battery, and this is doing really well. As you can see, we've increased height just a little bit because as we were passing over the town that I live in, we encountered some uh, pretty large pine trees that I had to go over and I didn't want to smack them. And there are, there's maybe like one or two taller buildings in this town. We're not really going to encounter them. But if you look off to your left, you'll see gold steeples. We're right above those. And that's a, uh, that's a church that I've canvassed once or twice and taken pictures of with other drones. Definitely did not want to hit that because again, I have obstacle avoidance off just so, uh, just so was moving a little bit faster with obstacle avoidance on it was very limited in speed makes very good for filming like and i'll post i'll post that video too uh because i got some great film from the first two flights this was my third flight out uh and we got a low battery warning we're at 30 percent i'm not that far away from myself a uh, li li little over or a little under a quarter mile, about uh, 100 meters under a quarter mile. I'm actually down in that field right there uh, in between the two dark spots of trees. So we're, we're close to ourselves. And now we're moving at 21, uh, 21, 20. Uh, so we picked up a little bit of speed and that's, uh, that's all going to differ on it. Maybe you got some wind behind you and whatnot. And basically right now, the distance away from myself, I'm almost right on top of myself. Um, we're at, we're closing down 60, 50, 40. So we're getting closer. We are, uh, basically right on top of me is seven, five, one. Then we're just going to go out a little bit and then we'll come back. Wasn't really ready to land us at 24%. So we're going to kind of just do a little quick burning on the ground here just to uh, really get a good draw on the battery because it, as of lately, the weather's been horrible in Pennsylvania. So I've been charging these batteries anticipating on going out and uh, I just, just haven't made it out. So the batteries have been kind of charged and mildly draining themselves, which I don't like, but... Uh, it is what it is. So we're, we're just going to burn this battery down a little bit more. Show you a little bit, little bit of the speed so you could actually get a gist of 
what type of speed this kind of has close to the ground. And it has a little bit of speed. It really does. And right here, I'm going to hit cancel. I'm good. I know where the drone is. It's close. We're at 19%. So uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about the battery and whatnot. Because again, 18%, I'm right there. You can see me. I just want to get a better draw on this. Guys, I'm J Drone. This was a fair, fair, fairly long video, I guess, but it gives you a really good understanding of this drone and the trustworthiness of it. And then I'm going to land here. And then I'm going to, as I click land, I'm putting my hand underneath it and letting the drone stall on my hand and land essentially as it just has. Please subscribe, take care. And uh, if you haven't uh, checked me out on Instagram, do so. Link will be down below. Later.